At some point in 1999, I was sitting in a movie theater watching the movie Analyze This, um, the comedy starring Robert De Niro as a mob boss with lingering psychological issues, and Billy Crystal as the poor uh, psychiatrist who's strong-armed into helping him. Um, and at one scene, uh, there's a wedding that takes place, and the most beautiful violin melody came soaring in the soundtrack. And I was transfixed by this music, so I went home and um, looked through my parents' record collection. This was before IMDb, so it was a little bit harder to identify soundtracks. And I figured out that the beautiful music that I heard in the movie was the slow movement, the second movement of Prokofiev's Second Violin Concerto. And even though this slow movement is one of the most beautiful song-like arias that I can think of for the violin, most of the rest of the piece is very dark and foreboding and even sinister and at times nihilistic. Um, for example, right from the start, Prokofiev puts us, the listeners, ill at ease. Prokofiev begins the concerto with a violin alone playing a dark, almost menacing first theme. And this theme is in a five-beat meter. And we're used to hearing themes that fall neatly into two, three, four, or six beats patterns, but five doesn't feel comfortable. We feel off balance when we hear that. And this is compounded by the fact that there is no orchestral accompaniment, so nothing gives us a frame of reference or something to hold on to. Um, and even when we hear the sweeter second melody of the first movement, which reminds me of the Juliet theme from the composers Romeo and Juliet, um, this beautiful kind of tender violin line is somehow colored by dark, um, tense harmonies in the orchestra that somehow kind of twists a dagger into the solo line sweetness. And I think when we look at this piece as a whole, um, this tension between the darkness and the nihilism and also sort of the tenderness and almost seductive sweetness of other sections is kind of the driving force behind this concerto. And there's no question to me that it is the darkness and sort of the, the chaos and almost the degeneration into madness that ultimately triumphs in this piece. The last movement basically spirals out of control in the coda into this careening dash to the finish. Since I first heard this concerto, it has been one of my favorite pieces to listen to and perform and study. Um, it's really chilling and terrifying for both the musicians and for the listeners. So I hope you enjoy it.